Hey guys! So today I have for you a pumpkin spice latte inspired makeup tutorial. Now, but for real, I really just wanted to start off fall makeup tutorials and I have the perfect palette to do that with. I got recently the Jaclyn Hill Bulk Collection Ring the Alarm palette. My twin got me this, well my best friend, my twin same thing got me this for my birthday this year and it is just the most perfect palette ever and when i saw this palette i was so inspired to do fall makeup looks so if you guys are interested to see how i got this look then keep on watching bye okay guys <clears throat> so i'm gonna go ahead and start on my brows and i want you i just want to let you guys know that i do have a chemical burn um right here and right here so if those spots are red or patchy throughout the video even with the makeup on that's what that is um, it was a lactic acid treatment and it went poorly <laughs> so my face is kind of going through it right now but that's okay we're just gonna keep trucking on um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows now using the mood struck brow obsession palette this is from the brand unique First, start out by brushing my hairs up and kind of creating the shape I want. Just brushing them into that shape, just like that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the wax right here on the brush. Just a little bit. A little bit of the wax, and then I'm gonna dip into the darker brown shade. So from the wax, I went straight in with that shade. I'm gonna brush off some of that extra right there. And I start from the middle of my brow, so right here at the arch, down with the darker shade, and let's get started. I start creating the shape underneath the brow, and then I will go on top, make that arch, and then connect them here at the tail. And don't worry about getting it perfect because I'm going to go in with concealer when I'm done and I'm going to clean them up and make them look really sharp and precise. So you can be as messy as you need to be just to get them on. <laughs> Okay, next I'm going to be going in with the light brown shade here, and I use this from the front of my brow to the middle here. I do this because I think it's a little bit more natural. I don't like a super, super, super dark brow um, all the way because I, I feel like that's a little bit harsh looking. So I go in with a lighter shade near the front of my brow so it's a little bit softer looking and it's not so harsh. And on top, and then fill it in. I'm just little upward strokes, very light handed, upward strokes, kind of like you're creating little hairs, just creating little hairs. Take like uh, any concealer that you have and I'm going to take it on a flat brush, let me show you. I'm going to be taking it on like a little flat synthetic brush, kind of like this here and I'm just going to take it and carve it out and create the shape that I want. And if you're messy, you can use this tip to clean them up and you'll get the perfect brows every single time doing this. So I start by underneath. always get good eyebrows doing it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye off camera and I will be right back. Sorry, I need a drink. Okay. Whew. I have both eyebrows on and now I'm going to go ahead and start on my face. I like to start out with concealer first. I'm just going to use this Makeup Revolution concealer. And I'm going to go in and do my under eyes really quick. And I'm also going to try and cover up these little scars here. They're going away pretty good though. I'm pretty proud. Like I really thought I would be scarred up for like 
at least a week. But it's only been a couple of days and they're already starting to leave so not too mad. And I have some hyperpigmentation here on the sides of my face. And I'm just going to cover that up a little bit. And <clears throat> sorry I can't talk. I'm going to cover that up and I'm going to go in with my brush here. Now, if this is an extra step for you, don't do this. I'm just doing it because I like a really full coverage makeup. So I'm just going in with this little extra step here. But I find that my makeup just looks a lot better throughout the day doing it like this. So I like it. I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. This here is one of my absolute favorite foundations. And it's pretty inexpensive, I think. Excuse me. Pretty inexpensive, and I absolutely love this one. So I'm going to give it a little shaky. And apply a pump on my hand, and then I'm going to dot it around my face. To blend it out, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge. This is one of my absolute favorite sponges ever. I'm just going to dab it in, just patting it in. I would never rub this because you're going to lose pigmentation whenever you rub product in. So when you pat product in, you're going to get the most color payoff and that's what I'm wanting to do today. I'm going to go back in with the concealer and conceal a little bit more. I know it's a lot of steps, but it really makes a difference to me. Okay, now that my concealer is on, I'm going to quickly bake my face and I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery Flour Powder. I'm just going to take from what's in the cap here on my same sponge and I'm just going to bake under my eyes just to set my concealer so it doesn't crease. by no means nobody has to do this like this is not a step anybody has to do but I really like it because it does really keep your concealer on all day long and has it looking so good and if you're oily this is something I do recommend because your makeup's not going to leave you throughout the day so I really do suggest that honestly so now I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes and I'm so, so freaking excited because I get to use this today. This is the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection Palette, um, but this is called Ring the Alarm. It's this gorgeous orange burnt cranberry falls pumpkin spice latte palette thing. It's gorgeous, and I'm so excited to get to use this. My best friend actually got me this for my birthday, and I wasn't expecting it, and I'm just, I was so excited. So I'm really excited to get to use this today. Um, we're going to do an all matte look using this palette here, and let's get started. <laughs> so let's see, what do I want to go in with? I'm going to go in with just like a black synthetic blending brush like this here. And I'm going to be taking Rush. It's this beautiful orange shade here. Let me give it a little swatchy swatch. It's this guy right here. And I'm going to be taking that on just a fluffy eyeshadow brush and running this into my crease as our transition shade. So this goes pretty high in the crease. This is a transition shade is usually the first eyeshadow you want to lay down and it helps to blend out other eyeshadows. Helps them to look really smooth. Um, you know when you can, you see some people and their eyeshadow can look really harsh, like it's like a line and then their skin. Well, a transition... <laughs> A transition shade really helps to make your makeup look very blended um, and seamless so you don't have that super harsh line that makes you look kind of crazy <laughs> so I'm just gonna use little circular motions and windshield wiper motions to blend this out and I want it all over the crease from inner to outer corner 
and with a little bit of a more tapered brush this guy let me show you is a little bit more has like a bit of an angle to it and it's a little bit um, tapered it's not as fluffy and I'm gonna be taking alert right here and I'm gonna bring this a little bit lower starting on the outer corner I want most of the pigment to be out here and I'm patting that in about stop about the middle of your eye so that pigment should stop at about the middle or right before the middle of the eye and then we're gonna blend it up so again use your little circular motions and your little windshield wiper motions just to kind of blend it upwards I'm going to take a little bit more and just tapping off the excess powder. This will help not get that super um, intense color on your eye that you weren't ready for. You're like, whoa, this will <laughs> kind of calm that down. So now I have just a little bit on the brush and I'm going to be taking it from the outer to the inner with the least amount of product on my brush coming in towards the eye. I don't want a lot of product on the inner part of my eye, right? I don't want it to look too bright. I want the brightness and the darkness to be out here. On my lid with this guy right here, it's just like a little flat, it's a little bit more of a flatter um, eyeshadow brush. It's not really for blending, it's more for like the placing of the color. So I'm going to take a little bit of that mugshot, tap off the excess, and place it on the lid. And I'm going to go back in with that bigger, fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to blend it out. Just like that. And because I don't want to lose any of that intensity, any of that pretty orange shades, I'm going to go back in with that little angled, fluffier brush. And I'm going to take Alert and Rush together, the oranges, and go back in, patting it on the outer corner, and then fluffing it in the crease. And now I'm going to go in with a little pencil brush like this here. And I'm going to be taking, let's see, framed right here. It's this gorgeous cranberry. I think I'm actually going to put framed all over the lid. I think that'll be pretty. With that big fluffy brush and just blend that out. just like that and now I'm gonna go back in. I know this is a really high maintenance look and it does have a lot of steps and I do realize that but it's definitely something you can do I mean it's not at all hard look to accomplish I don't think it does take a couple of steps for sure you gotta go back in a few times um, I just went in with that alert shade that orange shade and put that into my crease now just to darken up those outer corners just a little bit, I'm going to go in with 
Secret right here. It's this really beautiful chocolatey dark brown. And I'm doing this just to just so it's not like a one-dimensional look. Adding some depth. There's that eye right there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Now I got that other eye done and we're gonna go ahead and work on the lower lash line really quickly. Okay, actually I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a black eyeliner and put that on my waterline and my upper waterline. Going with that little definer brush here and I'm gonna be taking Framed, that pretty like purpley shade right here. And I'm going to run this as close to my lash line as I can. And I'm going to be taking Mugshot, that um, brown shade here, and running that, blending those two shades together. And with my shade, um, the shade Optimistic right here, it's from Unique. It's just this really pretty um, vanilla shimmer shade that I love to use to highlight with. It's so pretty. But I'm going to be using that to highlight my inner corners with. So I'm going to take a little of that. And then a little bit on the brow bone ahead and do my rest of my face really quick. So um, for bronzer, I'm going to be going in with the Beachfront Bronzer by Unique and I'm going to be taking it on this little fluffy brush right here by um, Crown Brushes. I'm going to go in with my blush. I'm going to be using the Milani Luminoso blush. And I'm going to be taking it on this little fluffy Luxie brush right here. Now I'm going to go in with my highlighter and I'm going to be going in with the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. It's this really pretty champagne color and I think it's going to look really pretty with this look today. And I'm just going to be taking it on this little highlighting brush right here from Morphe. And I just usually apply it right here on top of my brow bone, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin. Um, if you're oily, I don't suggest doing it on your nose or your chin, but maybe just like right here. And it just makes your skin look so luminous and healthy. And I just absolutely love it. So that's why I, I go pretty ham with it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> setting spray. I'm going to go in with the Morphe setting spray and just spray my face. <sighs> this just makes your skin look so good. And I, I just, I can't say enough good things about this. I absolutely love this spray. And my skin just looks so healthy and luminous and I love it. Lips, I'm going to go in with Ofra's Verona Liquid Lipstick. It's kind of, um, it's kind of like a mauve brown shade. It's this right here. I think it's going to look really good with this look today. Hey guys, I'm sorry that my camera just stopped recording, but I just did mascara and I did some false lashes. I just used the Ardell Wispies, um, but basically that was it for this look. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really means the world to me, and just remember that I love you, you're special, and you deserve the world. Bye!